bringing news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The Board of St. Paul's Methodist College making a public appeal tonight after announcing that the school will remain open despite its many challenges. Board members say the community's help is still needed. Acting School Board Chairman Bishop Theophilus Roll says they did not know how they would get through the challenges, but he is thankful that God has seen them through. The past year has been a rough one. The school has had to move students and staff to a nearby hotel as mold and structural challenges were uncovered at its Hudson and Clive Avenue campus. Through it all, students are now preparing for finals in a few weeks, and Bishop Roll says the graduating class of St. Paul's must be applauded. This group will always be remembered because in the midst of our transitional period, they remain steadfast, and courageous in the midst of everything that they had, had to undergo. We had uh, many instances during this year when uh, it looked very doubtful. There were signs that perhaps we might not be able to continue. And while those students are being commended, Vice President of the Parent Teacher Association, Bridget Barrington, says they are thankful for the parents and teachers of the institution. It has been a very challenging year um, for parents. It has been an uphill battle. Um, many have had mindsets to, to remove their children. Some have already done so. And so it has been challenging. And we are inviting all of those parents that have had to make the decision to move their kids. Certainly, we would still welcome you back. Since the relocation, the school has lost about half of its student population. Officials say for the continued success of the school, they need the help of the alumni community. Those who have been nurtured, whose lives have been molded as a result of the training at St. Paul's Methodist College, many of whom have gone on to make their mark within the community and even further afield. I want to appeal to those persons as well to make your contribution to ensure that St. Paul's Methodist College can continue to provide quality education. Officials of the school are welcoming the wider community to a concert in aid of the school's repairs on May 29th at the Church of the Ascension in Lucaya. Jack Edward High School celebrating Teachers Appreciation Week. It was the opportune time for the family of the patron of the school to renew their commitment to the institution. Megan Shepard was there. The liquid sunshine pouring down Wednesday morning at Jack Edward High School annual Teachers Appreciation Assembly, but that did not stop the day's celebration. The red carpet was rolled out for the teachers, the band played a special number, and they were even serenaded by the school's senior master, director of the Grand Bahama Port Authority, and grandson of the school's patron, Rupert Hayward, says he is very proud to hear of the many achievements happening at the high school. It's more than just 20 years of celebration of Jack Haywood High. I think this is a, certainly from our standpoint, from the Haywood family's standpoint, it's a, a renewed relationship, it's a commitment from the next generation to, to work with this wonderful school. Um, obviously the epicenter of the school are the teachers and obviously the students too, but to have a 91% graduation rate, which is the highest it's been for five years, is a real achievement. And I think when people achieve great things, they should be acknowledged for it. Hayward hey, noting that it was a bittersweet occasion being at the school since his grandfather's uh, passing, but he is sure that Sir Jack would have been proud of the students and staff. Principal Yvonne Ward says she's looking forward to a renewed relationship with the Hayward family. She also thanked the teachers for always going above and beyond. Our 91% graduation rate this year speaks to your commitment and dedication to excellent service as we also celebrate the 20th year of our school's existence. Teachers, please know that we love you and appreciate you for all that you do. This year is particularly special for the school as they are celebrating 20 years since the school's inception. Helen Russell has been with the institution since the beginning and says they have grown a great deal and describes it as a very rewarding experience. I would hope that I would have affected the choices that they made as adults because teachers influence more than just, you know, we're more than just information givers. We actually influence and we would hope to shape the minds of our students so that they can become um, good citizens um, for the Bahamas. I came into teaching from the accounting profession and I found that this was my love. I love teaching. I love educating. 
I love uh, being with my students and you know it's just the pleasure that you get from it. The teachers all receive gifts as a token of appreciation. Megan Shepherd, CNS Network News. And of course, that's my old stumping ground. Now it is time to ask the doctor. Welcome. As I mentioned previously, each year we commemorate Lupus Awareness Month in May. On today's segment, I will answer Michelle's final question. Do people with lupus have to follow a special diet? Again, thank you, Michelle, for all your great questions on lupus, and the short answer to your question is yes. When the disease is active, also known as a lupus flare, there may be some dietary restrictions. The doctor, along with the dietitian, will determine the best diet. If someone develops kidney disease as a result of lupus, what we call lupus nephritis, they may need to eat less protein. This is because most persons with lupus nephritis have protein in their urine, which is large amounts can cause further kidney damage. If blood pressure is a factor, persons should not only eat a low salt diet, but should take their blood pressure medications as prescribed by their doctor. Because poorly controlled blood pressure in someone with lupus will not only cause further damage to the kidneys, but to the heart as well. If being overweight is an issue, Weight loss can also help with achieving better blood pressure control, but it's important to speak with your doctor before starting any exercise or weight loss program. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Stay with us, Ricardo Lightborn, as a check on sports while we return. <laughs>